Hi everyone, uh, this is my second video about reflector antenna design in CST and MATLAB. And in this video, I will talk about the latest updates in my code and I will share a link where you can download both uh, M file and FIG file to run this code in your MATLAB and CST. So, first of all, let us look at the GUI file that I developed in MATLAB. This is the old part and I have added here the element data, unit element dimensions and phase reference. Let me explain uh, everything else uh, in this code. As you know, uh, in uh, reflector antennas, each part represents each, uh, some reflected phase. So uh, this can be different for different types of reflect arrays. So in my first code, it was the uh, user cannot was not able to change uh, the, this parameter. So I added here data file, where here it you can re represent uh, as many points as you want. Here uh, this data file represents, for example, the phase value which uh, represents which uh, connects to the dimension of the reflector ray unit cell. For example, it says that you will have 140 phase reflection if you have 0.2, for example, uh, millimeter of square patch and an end, uh, minus 175 phase reflection when you have 4.5 millimeter reflect array unit cell and for example i have data 2 uh, we have here all uh, the same changing uh, dimensions according to changing phase values so uh, in my new code i am reading this data data file uh, from the file explorer and connect uh, this points by uh, I think that it uh, I will show the code. So let us look at the code. Uh, this is my GUI file and I define the data here. So first of all, let us look at the code. It opens the uh, let us, okay. It opens the CST. Uh, and defines the very parameters and here uh, we have data which uh, if I push the get element data it reads data next it reads all the parameters that I have defined here the antenna radius frequency phase center elevation and azimuth beam directions and also unit element directions this is the new part and also phase reference where you can change the phase uh, of your uh, antenna it reads all these parameters here next he starts to design uh, one by one the reflectory parameters where he cal uh, this code calculates the this r uh, distance let me just shift it like this. Calculates R distance, calculates the phase that will be uh, in this element. Next, uh, he matches this phase uh, element to the uh, dimension of the square uh, that you have written in the data file, and it calculates the dimensions of the reflector parameter here next he creates the uh, in this code uh, i have only reflect array and tens of square patches you can change it if you want by changing this part it creates the uh, brick in cst which corresponds to the f dimensions that he calculate from here next it uh, it's just for loop and it calculates all the reflect array parameters here and let us uh, start to design reflect array antenna so first of all we will get uh, uh, 
the element data from here and if we click preview it previews the phase variation on the reflect array antenna and if we click construct in CST he starts to construct reflect array patches here uh, we have here already the construct patches to show you as you can see it corresponds to the uh, phase variation as we calculated here of course you can change uh, if you want uh, phase reference click preview uh, not working click preview ah it's just uh, sorry it just constructs uh, this part let me just stop it uh, hmm. we can change phase uh, reference phase here for example click 10 click 11 we can see how it changes sorry and we can also change the uh, unit element dimensions here the radius stays the same but the un uh, because we're changing the uh, increasing the unit dimensions there will be less reflect array elements here for example click two okay and that's basically all my friends hope you will enjoy it and if you have a questions you can ask under the video so have a good day bye bye